Hello, how are you doing? So I'm having some fun with Unify. I want to tell you about Unify. That's why we're here. Unify is a host plugin that I designed and Shane Dunn five and a half years ago wrote the code to make it. I can't write software code. I wish I could. But Shane Dunn put it all together to get it to work. And we've sold it for five and a half years. We've supported it with all sorts of free updates. And it's June of 2025. Since it's been out for five and a half years, I just wanted to do a little like overview of what it offers just so you can see what it can do, because it really is a doggy park for plugins is one thing I say. The other thing I always say is it gives any plugin you own superpowers because it really does. You have up to 24 layers in a single patch and each layer can be a complete patch. What you're seeing here is six different patches from the 640 in the factory. So if I solo just this one here, this is the piano and strings. If I right click on solo, it cancels the previous because we got some cool shortcuts in here. So this is a guitar kind of pad. And I can like just click on these two and have them both play. If I right click, it turns them all off and now everybody's playing. So it's crazy powerful. I'll explain it a little bit more. If we go to like even just this one here, this one is crazy because I was, this is doing wave sequencing. So there's actually, let's, do, let's solo this and just play this. There's a drum groove, there's a bass. And see that these say unify? <laughs> if you open these up, these are actually unify patches this one has 11 layers this one here for the drums i believe has two unify layers inside of unify and if you open them up you'll see that the drum kits uh, this third layer for the sequence pad it has guru samplers so it's got all these complex things happening This is using a sequencer that's each note advanced by one MIDI channel. It's a MIDI effect that we designed called Polybox. And here's our MIDI box, which is a polyphonic MIDI file player. So I can play a single note rhythm and then play chords. And it'll play it. Super, super cool. And all that's happening in that one unify layer. And then go to this layer. This has all this going on. It's got MIDI sequencing arps going on that are included with Unify. And we've got six layers of drums and bass and leads. So there is a lot to play with and explore. So, but let that that's the big picture, but let's 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 zoom it in just a little bit. So if you go and you install Unify, there's a free demo version you can try out if you want. Uh, before you add any of your own plugins, it can work with its own plugins. It comes with uh, its own list, if you click right here, you can go Unify Standard Instruments. These instrument plugins, like OBXD, is a really, really cool, uh, like an OB synth kind of a synth to two oscillators with great filter and resonance. And you can pan each note on the oscillators to be in different stereo fields, which is really cool. Uh, we got permission, since these are free plugins, DX is a DX7 that's like my favorite of all the DX7 plugins. It's very raw. Um, if you get this, just know you can go to the parameter page and the resolution of the engine, if it's Mark I, it's noisy and kind of clicky. You can change it to the modern 24-bit engine if you want, but sometimes that clicky, that's the old DX7 vibe. You can, you, it's great. Those are all included here, including also Guru Sampler, which has over three gigabytes of samples from different libraries, just choice samples, not the whole directories. Those are separate libraries you can buy. If you want Mega Magic Cello, these are the presets that are included sample-wise. 
here, but if you get the full library, it's like 10 times that number of samples. So it's much, much bigger. So all of those are there to make these 640 patches. So if we go over here, let's say we call up maybe, let me show you what's really fun. So let's go over here to the pads, Galaxy Purists, because and then go up here to another category. And before I load it, just change this from Unify Normal to Layer. And let's say, oh, I wanna add a Dreamy Beginnings Piano Pad. It's there. Get my balance right. Um, and if I want it on this sound here, let's go over here to the audio effects. These are all audio effects that are included with Unify. And go to Dynamics and add up Pump House. And what I like to do with this is actually open it up and call it like Saw Down. Maybe make it eighth notes. rhythmic movement you can even go over here to the depth and bring it down so let's a little pad in in fact we have macro knobs and if I turn on the ear and I move this I have now connected this to a macro knob so I can go from none And if you go over here to this macro knob, you right click on it, or you can use this little bullet that says link parameters. You'll see if you hit the plus, you can go to any layer and any plugin on that layer. And let's say that we were to go to, let's say empty layer and let's call it Zebra or Serum 2. That's, that's our new synth that we like, right? New Serum 2, uh, here it is. Let's call up a pads. So we go like pads and like, Right? If I go to this knob, if I go here to Serum on layer three, Serum two, uh, you can't see it goes off the screen, but every parameter of Serum two is in this list. So you can assign it so that when you change a knob, it can be changing cutoffs and volumes and pitch. Any parameter you see on the screen inside of Serum two, if I go over here and I hit the ear and I say there, there it's now there and there's no limit to how many modulation sources you can assign to one knob you can even reverse the direction you can add curvature you can add breakpoints so that any parameter of any plugin can be going in any direction you want it to go to achieve the effect you want it's it's again god mode doggy park for plugins that all aptly fits what you can do with unify um, so out of the box, it has 640 patches. You can layer them. You can load them. You can, if you go here and type WS, you can study things like the wave sequencing patches. If you go here and you say vocoder, we have just like the most badass stereo vocoder capabilities. We have another of MIDI of, of actually it's an audio effect we designed called Combo Box where it's really easy to combine multiple plugins. For vocoders, you need to route audio in special ways. This is hard to do in a DAW. Here we can do it super easy. So this does the vocoding, and then I even have the drums. I can change the parameters vocoder. So you have parameters to change things. These can all be automated into your DAW, so it's super powerful. So that's Unify. If you go over here to the plugin pick little icon right here, this is where you can, and you can't see because I, I gotta move this up for a second. You have operations here for scanning all of your plugins, or you could just do, maybe it's easier to start with to just say select a plugin files to scan and choose VST or VST3 and just choose a couple that you wanna load and it will scan it really quick and load it. If you want, you can have it scan all of them. If you have a lot, it's gonna take a while. 
um, and it will load them all up so you can get it to work. So once you've done that, then when you go into Unify, this little button right here, when you go swap all instruments, will now see the list of all of your plugins that you've added to Unify, uh, and which is very, very powerful. Next thing let's talk about is libraries, because the other big part of Unify for me, it helps me stay alive, and many other people that are producers that sell libraries at our site, is libraries. We have lots and lots of libraries for Unify, for Diva, for Serum, for Omnisphere. There's over 45 libraries for Omnisphere. There's over 50 libraries for Unify now. So the list, list has gotten pretty healthy. Um, and with these, each one of these, if I go over here to Behemoth, this is like, here, let's go over here and we've got to turn off our search stuff. This is like the biggest synthesizer sounds I could make in stereo samples. So. I mean, just crazy stuff. Like here, Scorched. If I go to another library like Purity, let's find Purity. This is like prayer bowls that are made out of ceramic that do. Very cinematic, very meditative healing. even have water, birds, air, the mod wheel. Check this out. This one Unify layer, if I open it up, has eight different sample maps of that ceramic bowl that I recorded. So I can rub it. I can move my mod wheel and call all these up without canceling any of the others. So the power, anything we've been able to think up, we've been able to do in Unify. It's just so fun. So there's so many libraries to play with. If you go over here to Ambient Dreams, and you can go to all these really cool things like here, this is, Bob, Bob Dedas did these. He lives in Greece. And if you're into ambient music, these are just incredible. Each one of these, takes you to all sorts of cool places. Use the mod wheel. There's so much going on with these, it's really fun. So there's all these libraries you can buy if you go to our website, let me point out a couple of things that are kind of cool. Uh, there's on the Unify page, one other thing that we've done that's really handy is that we've unified all the patches of a whole bunch of plugins. We get permission from the companies and we unify them. So if I go over here to Korg and I want to say Korg Prophecy, here's all 260 patches from the Korg Prophecy in Unify format. So I can call up a base and... And what's so cool, I could go to another library. Let's go to Serum 2, to the factory patches, go to Base. If I say Unify Layer and say Basis, let's Acid. Let's say, let's get uh, Candy. So you can make like ultimate patches with any of your plugins. If they're unified, you can get access to their... Here, let's go to Zebra 2, and we're still on base, so I could go to, like, the bins and add Zebra 2. And Zebra. And Wobbler. And we could go to Plasmonic, and we could add a plug... So any patches from any plugins, like probably 85, 90% of the plugins that have been released in the last five years, we've unified the patches. And if you go to the Unify page and scroll down, 
you'll see all of the patches for all the different plugins that you can access. And if it says VST2, then that means that you go to the plugin and you would click here and you would say, oh, I got to move this back up again so you can see it. You'd want to say, uh, select the plugins to scan, say that we want it Oblivion and that's a VST2. So go to the VST folder, O-B-L-Y, Oblivion. It's around here somewhere, Oblivion. Oh, it might be a, a, in a company folder. Anyway, they're there so you can load them add them, and then you have those patches from all those different plugins. Also, make sure you go to the free stuff. Um, the latest library cloud form is not free, but it's on its introductory price, and so it's here. Uh, Uniscream, Recycle, 808 Day, the Plugin Guru Collective, Uniscream 2021, 808 Day 2021. Uh, we've got free reverbs that are really, really nice that are inside Unify. We've got a Show MIDI plugin that's free, ModMate that's free. All sorts of stuff here on the free page, including like literally like 1,500 free patches, lots of samples for Unify. So make sure you get those when you add those to Unify. Uh, it's just, this is a really fun place to expand all of your plugins and add libraries to all of your favorite plugins too, so that you, it's cheaper than buying new synthesizers to add a library. So there you go. Enjoy all the patches. And I hope this helps explain what Unify is. And if you have questions, ask them in the comments. If you own Unify and you use it a lot, write in the comments how you use it so people know how you use it. It's, I think that opened up a lot of eyes because we literally have thousands of people around the world working with Unify. A lot of people using it as their go-to that they start their productions with because you can add new sounds at any point. Reload the song, go, oh, I need something else layered with that. You don't have to copy MIDI tracks and go to new channels and stuff. Just go to Unify and add something else. Super, super fun. So there you go. All right. See you later.